last night I told you guys if something crazy happened, then we're going to expect a huge drop. And that's exactly what happened. And so according to some former employees of Carvana, these employees said that Hypersport, which is an automotive reconditioning contractor that's, that works with Carvana, they allegedly committed dishonest acts. Now, what were these acts, you might ask? Well, it includes stealing from Carvana. Essentially, what they were doing was that Hypersport was submitting duplicate invoices and charging Carvana multiple times for the same repair job. So it, Really, they were just charging them for things that either didn't get done or things that, you know, just didn't get done, period. And so, or just, you know, multiple times. And what they were doing to the ones that didn't get done, they would actually be holding the supplies. So one of the employees actually noticed that some of the supplies were there, like paint and stuff, were there for cars that were already out of, out of the shop. And they still had it marked with the date that was um, either that day's date or just, you know, a date that was close to the date that the employee had seen the um, all the inventory. So apparently the techs that were working alongside with Carvana technicians, so the Hypersport um, technicians, they um, they were working with them for several years. And then the managers, technicians, inventory coordinators have all um confirmed these claims so it's not just something that's coming out of thin air they wanted to be anonymous that's the only way they would talk to the forbes people that came in and talked to a bunch of um employees and stuff and they all said that it was true now the official employee that had noticed all this stuff went and told people but you know you know how that goes that didn't really go too far for them at that current moment so we're going to go over to this chart and we're going to see exactly what happened and we're going to see where those levels are that we did break if i said that you know things were going to happen so let's go over to it so yesterday i said that i didn't really expect us to go past this line right here and this is the line that i drew in yesterday it wasn't there before so it was only this line here and it was this line here i'm pretty sure and i said unless something crazy happens i don't really see us coming down and so first off you know we had these big old red candles right out yesterday i also said that if we were going to be up trending then we would stay with this line so you can see right out the gate we we dropped way below that and it was because of that news that came out however i don't really see how that's really too bearish for them i guess maybe they were expecting some other people to to um to come out of this as well but to me this is this is kind of good for their future maybe not short term but future wise this is good for them because um if they're able to recover some of that money they haven't really said anything because this is just fresh off if they were going to recover any of that money or anything i don't think that they currently work with them anymore and the company um the formal former vendor is also not in a lot of their records and things like that so i think that's why a lot of people are getting scared because they had been working with the this company and um they weren't even really talking about them too much as far as from what i read so i said if we broke this line we were going to come down and we we're going to test many of these support lines um we tested them fell right straight through them and then i also said that if we did get to this area um then psychologically we would be looking more towards this um this 19 area just because you know people get scared and they don't know what's going on and they kind of just start selling when they don't know what's going on um, right now we do have some type of momentum still trying to keep us going afloat um, as you can see i tried to move that line right there but it didn't really work too well but right here we have still some type of upward action kind of going on here as you can see um, maybe i can just draw another line in right here so you can actually see that um, it's still kind of trying to uptrend but we are um we did retest we did test the line that i said that we shouldn't really break through um right now we broke through it we came up we retested it we broke through a little bit now we're coming back down so you can see like this sort of trend that's forming right here um this would be the next support level if we fall through that then yeah you're looking way down here but right now it looks it's looking like it wants to hold that like i said i had drawn this line right over here and um yeah it's looking like it's holding that this line pretty well here so this would probably be the next area 
that we should be looking at if we're if you're following along with me so I'm going to try to delete these lines if it'll let me and we're gonna just follow along with what was going on right there oh my goodness I don't want to delete all right so we're just gonna try and follow along with this line here um, as you can see since we've had this pump it's touched this line right here multiple times um, if we fall through this line here then we're going to be looking to go ahead and retest this line right down here we retest this line you can already see what the next goals are and there's not really a lot of you know there's a not a lot going on right here it's only this little bit right here as you can see so that's why I said that we'll probably be testing this area if we do get back in these areas because there's not a lot there's not a lot going on in the history of this you know there's there's a little bit right here going on but if we if we come down here this would be the next area of um, support I'm hoping if we want to see this thing uptrend now obviously I want to see this thing go down so I want to see us break this we break this 19 we're coming back down to my my key areas my star points right here where I really want this to come back down I really want it to come back down to this area so I can get some more and get back into this thing um, so I'm looking for this 19 area I'm looking for it to to break that but with this news here we're just gonna be sitting around this area right here that I'd said that I really don't see us really falling too much from this week um, so we'll have to see next week what happens uh, today's already been such an eventful day I don't really see much more happening today as far as on the downside I see more people trying to come in and see this as opportunity especially with this line here um, like I said nothing's ever exact and I'm not a financial advisor um, <clears throat> but it is following this this trend right here so we follow the trend until something breaks and um, <clears throat> we're still slightly uptrending even though we're down on the day so I hope this video helped you guys out and understand exactly what's going on in the Carvana world. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Appreciate you all.